Congratulations! You are a super hero. If you got here, if you did all the lessons and you built your first blockchain using Rust from scratch, you are one of 0.0001% of the population that can get until here. So congratulations. Let's recover what we did since the beginning. We created our blockchain using this pallets infrastructure. Each pallet is responsible for one specific usage of the blockchain. So we have the balances that take care of users accounts or users balances we have the proof of existence palette that is responsible for creating claims and revoke claims and we used macros to generate code we did a lot it was very hard to get here so congratulations but this is the first step this is just the first step i know if you are here i know it you worked a lot but there's a lot of work to do yet. And right now I'm going to give you the next steps to become a full-time Rust developer in the Polkadot ecosystem. From here, you are ready to start your journey and go deeper into the Polkadot SDK. And if you look at the Polkadot SDK code, let me take, let's take a look. If you look at one of the palettes, because if you look here, we have the Polkadot SDK, and then you have Substrate and Frame, which is the framework that everybody that develops under the Polkadot ecosystem uses. You have different palettes. Look how many palettes we have here. We have Collective, we have Contracts, we have Democracy. All these palettes use mostly the same ideas that we just learned in our exercise here. Take a look at this code. There's a lot of comments here, but in essence, the structure is here. First, you have a macro that says, oh, here comes a pilot. And the same we did here in our main function. When we created our runtime over here, we said, here comes a runtime. Here comes a pilot. And if you look at the palette inside the palette, you're going to see a lot of macros and you have a config. Take a look. We have a config over here. Config. Of course, our config has only one type. If you look at the at the this palette, there's a lot of types like the runtime event and the runtime hold reason and all these types. But look at the balance, the same, I'm looking at the balances, the, the real balances palette inside the Polkadot uh, blockchain. And it, it uses, it has debug, it has copy, it has some stuff that we actually remember from our own code. But of course, it's a much more complicated. It has to be some at least 32 bit and sign it and so on. So it's a little bit more complicated, but yet the structure is here. And then you have some events. Eventually you have some error messages and some way to interact with storage because our blockchain doesn't have storage, persistent storage, everything we are doing right now in our code is just memory memory stored so the code is not the after you execute when you finish the program you, you lose the state you have to run it again and then if you go down here let me go a little bit down so you see we have this this part of the of the of the palette very interesting we have the same call macro that we define it over here. We have the call macro and then you have all the functions that are in this case marked as an index and then the name of the function, what is the order that they will appear. For some reason you have this indexing stuff, but they will generate the string six that are needed for anyone to call them in the runtime. 
So if you want to if you want to go deeper into Polkadot, you have to take a look at this code and also subscribe to the Polkadot Blockchain Academy. In this Polkadot Blockchain Academy, you will learn all this detailed information about Polkadot substrate and be really a hero, superhero Rust developer. And uh, now you know a little bit of Rust. When you apply to the Polkadot Academy, it's really hard, it's really competitive. But I'm pretty sure that if you finish this build with us, with Web3Dev, you will be able to join the Polkadot Blockchain Academy because you know Rust and you know a lot about State Machine, you know a lot about Pallets, and you are far away from those who don't know anything about this language. So if you finish this build with us, come here, register your interests, put your name here, and when there's another cohort, the Polkadot Blockchain Academy is a five-week curriculum. You have five modules that we actually six, seven, oh, it's seven modules. You learn about Polkadot, part chains, the frame, palettes, XCM. So it's everything that you just saw and much more. And who are the teachers, the masters that will give you some lectures there? So we have Gavin Wood, the founder of Polkadot himself, helping you to learn Rust. So it's a unique opportunity to become a full-time Rust and blockchain developer in the Polkadot ecosystem. And not only Gavin, but many very talented professors, many talented teachers that will help you throughout all this journey. You see people from the Polkadot ecosystem, parachain leaders, and so on, and you meet all of them during this five-week program in different cities. So stay tuned to the Polkadot Blockchain Academy website and congratulations. Now you are formally a Rust developer.